Uh, do you have a young athlete that competes in sports but needs to work on the mental game but sees absolutely no need to work on the mental game? Hi, I'm Dr. Patrick Cohn with Peak Performance Sports at peaksports.com. In this video, you're going to learn why your young athlete or athletes will avoid and reject mental training and what you can do to help them embrace it. You're watching Sessions with Doc, unrehearsed and unscripted answers to your mental game questions. Here's the question I received from Yori. He's a sports dad and he said, my son doesn't think he has a problem and does not see the need to seek help with his mental game. But the fact is, and in the coach's opinion also, that he doesn't play as well in competition compared to what he shows in practice. His mind seems to make him tight and he has a tendency to lose many game balls and set balls. I'm trying to persuade him that he needs to work on his mental game. We know he needs to work on his mental game, but he doesn't. He doesn't think he needs it. How can I convince him that he needs to work on his mental game? Well, great question and one we get from parents all the time. Let's just take a look at some of the stats. What we found with our surveys with sports parent and coaches alike is that probably about 50% of the athletes that we come in contact with don't really understand what mental game coaching is all about. And what athletes don't understand, they tend to avoid it. The other 50%, there's going to probably be about half of those individuals that are going to understand it and accept it, embrace it. Then there'll be another half of those individuals that are probably going to be on the fence and that you have to convince them that it's a good thing for them. Now, how can you convince young athletes that they need mental game training? Um, it's very challenging for parents because athletes are often inundated with they have to do functional training and then they do fitness training and then they do other types of training and then they have school so busy student athletes have a lot of trouble accepting more, more coaching and having to do more work, essentially. So that's one of the reasons why athletes will avoid it. Um, a couple other reasons why athletes will avoid it is that there's some negative stigma attached to working with a mental game coach. Hey, if I have to work with a mental game expert, does that mean something's wrong with me? That's what athletes will say. Or, I don't want my teammates or my coach to know that I'm working with a mental game coach. So because they don't understand it and they think it's some type of therapy, which it's not, they tend to avoid it and don't want that negative stigma because they think if I'm working with a mental game coach, I must be a problem player or I must have problems. And so therefore they reject it altogether. So it's not uncommon. What you need to do, there's a couple things you can do to help athletes embrace it. First of all, look to their role models. A, a great example in, in the tennis community is Roger Federer. If you look at him today, playing today, he's super composed, super calm out on the court. But what many people don't know is he was a hothead when he was younger. Yeah, he would throw rackets, he would get upset. But if you look at him today and you say, wow, he's so composed. Well, guess what? Roger, over the years, he learned how to control his emotions and he learned how to have composure. So use their role models to tell them this is what Roger Federer did to help improve his game and to win championships. So that's really powerful in the eyes of young athletes. You also want to tell them that it's just another facet of training that mental training or mental coaching is a way to help them improve their mindset, is a way to help them mentally prepare. So what I'm asking you to do, if you have young athletes that reject it, is try to simplify it for them and say, Dr. Cohn can simply help you focus better at the plate. 
or he can help you more, have more confidence uh, on the beam, or he can help you prepare better for a golf shot. So you really have to simplify mental coaching and really get them to understand what it's all about. Share some of my newsletters with them. Go to peaksports.com, sign up for a free report. You'll get a newsletter sent to you every Thursday and you can share some of our tips with your young athletes. Thanks for your question and good luck with this game. Hey, if you have a mental game question, go to peaksports.com, click on contact us and submit your mental game question and we'll try to work it into a video cast or a podcast. In addition, please subscribe to our videos if you haven't done so, so you'll be notified when more mental game tips become available. And also, there's a video here you'll want to watch following this video that will help improve your mental game as well. You're watching Sessions with Doc, unrehearsed and unscripted answers to your mental game questions. We'll see you next time.